Hey, what's going on guys? It's Hamza from HamzaStop.com and in today's video, we're gonna be creating a beat using only Stock Pro plugins, but this time, we're gonna focus on using some Apple Loops. Let's get into this video. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button with the notification bell. I know I don't have much subscribers right now, but believe me, the reason you wanna to subscribe to a channel like this is because you have more influence as it grows. If there's a video you'd like to see, leave a suggestion in the comment section below and let me know. I will do my best to provide you with the best possible value. Also, follow me on social media. I'm available on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at the Hamza Saab. I left links for that in the description as well. Let's get into this beat. So the first thing I'm gonna do right now is go to the Apple Loop section. And what I'm gonna do is start breaking it down based on instrument, genre, and descriptors so that I'm able to find that exact sound that I'm looking for. So the first thing I'm gonna do is click on instrument. I am gonna go with a piano. And now I'm gonna click on genre. And we're gonna go for hip hop. And for descriptors, we're gonna put dark. I'm gonna move for like a dark kind of beat today. Now let's look through these samples right here and see what we like. I'm really liking that deep sleep piano too. So what I'm gonna do is click on that and then we're gonna drag it to the tracks. And that automatically changes the BPM to 80 for us, which is pretty good. Good thing about Apple Loops over here, guys, is when they have the same name titles, usually they could work with each other. For example, right now it says there's a piano called Deep Sleep 4, so we're gonna click on that and see how that sounds. And awesome, I mean, it starts off with the same chords, which is really nice, so now I might use that same exact loop with the other loop and have maybe like a transition in between, so that way it doesn't sound too repetitive while I'm playing the same exact melody over and over again. So now that we got the piano keys, the next step is to click Command D to duplicate that. And we're gonna go through Apple Loops one more time to see if there's another instrument that we like. So what I like about Apple Loops, guys, is after I click on Tempo and I duplicate the track, it automatically looks for the exact tempo that we're using earlier. And now we're gonna click on Key to filter through the exact key that we need, which is the B minor and it found it for us automatically right there, which is really nice. And now what I'm gonna do is look through the sounds to see what works with our piano keys. Another feature I like about Apple Loops in this here is I could just click on Spacebar here and I could just click on the other sounds I wanna test out and it'll play them all together in the same tempo. Ooh, that deep sleep synth pad four is sick. Awesome. So I'm gonna actually put that in the track and I'm gonna loop it real quick. So now we got the piano keys. I also got a pad in there as well, which is really sick. And let's see if we can find another instrument that could complement this track. So the first thing I'm gonna do is click Command D one more time. It's gonna duplicate the same exact track for us. And we're gonna have the options that could work with the tempo and the key, which is really nice. I'm really liking that deep sleep sub bass one. So we're gonna put that in the track as well. I'm really liking the way that sounds right now. So what I'm gonna do is click Command D one more time. I'm gonna attempt to look for one more sound. Maybe I'm able to give the beat a little more variation, maybe have a different counter melody in the higher registers. Let's see what we can find. Glass guitar sounds so good with this. Yeah, we're gonna bring that in here. Let's do that. I'm gonna loop that. I might change the EQ on the Owlless guitar so it sits more in the background. Ooh, I love the way that sounds right now. All right, now that we got all the melodies in there, it's time for us to include some drums. So now we're just gonna click on the plus icon, we're gonna click create, and we're gonna go to electronic drum kit, scroll all the way down to kit pieces. We're gonna click on hi-hats. We're gonna go through them real quick and see which one works for the track. I'm gonna go with the 808 Flex hi-hat close. It sounds really nice with this. So if you watch my previous videos, you guys know that I like to just put a straight line for the hi-hats, and then I'll add in the kick, I'll add in the snare, the 808, and the open hat, and then I'll start adjusting the hi-hat pattern. Nice, I really like the way that sounds. I just went with a 16th note straight line, and now that we got the hi-hats, I'm gonna click Command D, we're gonna go through snares over here and we're gonna look for a sound that we like that could work with this track. Yeah, we're gonna go with snare one Death Charge, one of my favorites personally. Keyboard messed up in the middle of that take. I guess I gotta just 
play it on the musical typing keyboard. Let's click Command K, Command R. Awesome. Now that we got the take, I'm just gonna click here, Command A to duplicate that. It sounded like it was in the lower octaves. I'm gonna click Shift Option, and then we're gonna click the Command Up arrow. Perfect, and now we're gonna go in there, quantize it and fix it. So I really like the way the snares sound with this here. So we're gonna do Command D, duplicate that. We're gonna go to hi-hats and we're gonna look through an open hat real quick and see what works with this. Awesome, we're gonna go with the depth charge. Let me record that in there real quick. And that's it, and we're gonna loop that throughout. I'm loving the way that sounds right now. The open hat complements it really well in the beginning. So now that we got the open hat, we're gonna click Command D one more time, and we're gonna go through some kicks and see what works. I'm gonna go with the depth charge. I'm gonna follow the bass. Awesome. I'm gonna quantize that, but I think we did a pretty good take on that. I'm loving this beat right here, guys. So now that we got all the drums in there, I'm gonna go back into the track and fix the hi-hats. The hi-hats sound really good. It gives you a really nice bounce. So what I did was I included some 32s in the beginning. I added some 32s in here as well. Included some triplets, another set of triplets over here. And then I put on a different octave, just a straight line of 64 notes. And it sounds really good to me right now, guys. So now that we got all the instruments in there, it's time for us to arrange it. All right, guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do right now is click the top track and then Command J to join it. So that way it's easier for me when I click Command A, Command R, because sometimes it splits it. So you end up having just like one third of it really showing. So now we're gonna click everything, or you can just click Command A, whatever's easier. Command R multiple times. And then what I'm gonna do first is get rid of the drums. I'm probably gonna get rid of the guitar as well. Leave the guitar in the middle of the track. So it has like a nice transition or gives it some variation in there, which was the purpose behind it. All right guys, so I did a quick arrangement real quick and this is what we got. We're gonna start off with the piano and the pad. We're gonna bring in the drums. So we got rid of the kicks and the bass over here. And then we're gonna bring him back in right now. And what I also did, if you notice, I got rid of that transition in the piano. I just thought it sounded better with the guitar. It gives it more space. And that's the beat all wrapped up. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button with the notification bell. Believe me, I know I don't have much subscribers right now, but the reason you wanna to subscribe to a channel like this is because you have more influence as it grows. Leave a suggestion in the comment section as well. Let me know what you wanna see and I'll do my best to provide you with the best possible value. On top of that, follow me on social media. I'm available on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at the Hamza Saab. I left links in the description for that as well. You have a wonderful day, guys, and good luck cooking.